We have seen an increase in the number of thefts of catalytic converters in our office. With the rise of the value of the precious metals that make up these catalytic converters that go inside them, uh, we found that it's a quick property claim that a thief can pull off in probably about a minute that can result in three to $500 into their pocket. Now, vehicles that sit higher off the ground are more susceptible for this type of uh, claim to happen because uh, it's easy for somebody to slide right under there and not have to jack the vehicle up to get access to catalytic con converter. Uh, but also, if you have a hybrid vehicle, some of those actually might have two catalytic converters on there. So it's worth for the, the thief to get a jack, jack it up pretty quick, and usually that's a two-person job. One person's jack and then one person has that battery op and operated sawzaw to uh, get through the pipes for it. So, Unfortunately, a claim like this can end up costing you thousands of dollars to replace your catalytic converter. Uh, and sometimes they're even difficult to find right now just with the lack of the precious metals uh, and the supply chain issues that they are having. So as always, I am a big fan of doing what we can to prevent a potential claim on your insurance. Now, don't get me wrong, insurance is here just for situations like this, something that is really out of your control. Uh, but I feel, you know, claims are never convenient at a convenient time for you and they are never fun. So anything that we can do to prevent them, I am all for it. So uh, some of the recommendations that I found is, you know, you wanna park in a well-lit area uh, where people can see your vehicle. Uh, so you obviously don't park in a dark corner of the parking lot. Uh, out of the way where it's easy for somebody to slide in there under the shadows and uh, cut out your catalytic converter. When you're at home, if at all possible, park in your garage. Um, and you can even take an extra step to mark your catalytic converter. So you can take a bright colored heat resistant paint and spray paint your catalytic converter. And then you can even uh, etch your VIN number and or your license plate right into the catalytic converter. And maybe if a thief got under there and they saw that your catalytic converter was marked, uh, they may be less likely to want to steal it if they know that it can be traced uh, back to them as a stolen catalytic converter. Um, so, and one thing you might want to do, which I'm going to do next week is, ask your, your shop that you take your car to have work done if they have any prevention methods that they recommend. Uh, if you do a you quick YouTube search on you know preventing catalytic converter thefts, you're gonna find there are a myriad of options out there. Uh, I went down this rabbit hole a while for a while on YouTube researching for this uh, video here, uh, and some of the ones that I found is I mean you can just buy an aftermarket alarm specifically specifically for your catalytic converter uh, that will basically go off if somebody tries to steal it, uh, attempts to steal it. So basically just an audible alarm that will hopefully deter them uh, from finishing the job so you don't completely lose your converter. Uh, another thing is, is you can have a steel rod welded uh, along your catalytic converter so it just makes it more difficult for them to cut through. So whenever a job is going to take a little bit longer and they feel that they might be caught, uh, this may prevent them from actually getting away with the converter. So. Um, you can also purchase an aftermarket steel cover for your converter. So it'll basically enclose your catalytic converter, just making it that much more difficult for a thief to get away with it. So if someone crawled on your vehicle and saw this and saw that it's not a quick, you know, one minute job for them to zip through two pipes, hopefully they would walk away. So like I said, I'm taking my van in for an oil change next week. I'm gonna ask my shop uh, what prevention methods they recommend. Uh, you know, if there's something that is reasonably priced, you know, I will most likely go ahead with it. So I hope you found this tip helpful. If you like these type of insurance tips, uh, feel free to follow us on our channel on YouTube and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks everybody.